Hello, my name is Jordan Howell, and this is how to start a blog using WordPress.com. And today I'm going to show you how to use widgets and how you find it is go to appearances, click on that, will default to themes. You scroll down, click on widgets, and widgets are basically the stuff will will appear on the sidebar or depending on your theme, there will be um, down here will be footers of other stuff you can use um, widgets for. This one is basically shows how many spam comments there are not needed at all. Achievements basically for basically explains itself. A monthly achievement of your site post basically lists how many posts you do in a monthly basis which is pretty good if you want to just keep track of how many posts you do. This one displays your avatar picture, author will display you basically, blog stats will display how many clicks your blog gets, blog subscriber blah blah blah, it's basically adds a uh, email sign up form, allows people to subscribe to your blog that way, which these things all basically say the exact same thing. You can alter the wording. I personally, for the sake of time, I won't. Do, do, do. This is a paid feature, I think. This one explains itself. This one I like a lot because of tags, which I'll show you later in future um, videos. Do, do, do. I'm going really fast. Custom menus, I'll do a video on this, which will be called how to start a WordPress blog. Imagine that. Custom menus. Or how to use custom menus. I'll probably call it that. How to use custom menus. Which I don't use them that much. This plugin basically you just have to put in the full Facebook URL. Which I did that already. <laughs> I saved it. You can basically choose that type of settings that scroll down this one I really didn't notice the difference between that one this one is bookmarking pictures more pictures this one basically connects with your Flickr account if you'd like pictures this links is your blog roller or basically creates backlinks for you and you can read the settings you want to show I'm just leaving it default for time's sake. I got two minutes left. Scrolling all the way down. This one really no, no difference. This allows you to log in and log out by just going to your WordPress site. Which is actually not that useful for WordPress.com, but this will be useful for a self-hosted WordPress account. Scroll down. Pages will display um, pages of your blog in the sidebar as well. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Recent posts. Any posts you do recently, this will display the most recent posts. And you can actually choose the number. Same here. You can basically exclude or only choose certain posts you want to show. One minute left. Going really fast, probably making people dizzy. Process links. Uh, yeah, that one's good. RSS basically allows people to subscribe to your blog. I think that one is the right one to choose. And search menu. Basically allows your, um, a person to basically search your blog for a certain topic. Basically if your blog is on a certain topic period, it allows them to basically search posts it easier. Good. <laughs> Sponsor charities, which is a good plugin to use if you want to do that. Text basically allows you to use HTML, but you can't really use banners with that. And because it's if you're doing a free one and I'm at my time limit. limit. My name is Dorian Howell. Have a great day. More good stuff coming soon.